Salutations everyone, Shout out Taurus here and I'm back with another Dragon Ball Power Scaling video. Having covered intense matchups like Cell vs Deborah and Kid Buu vs Buhan, I decided to delve into the controversial Dragon Ball matchup trifecta by presenting you Broly vs Jiren. Now it is essential to note we'll be focused on Broly and Jiren from the Dragon Ball Super anime slash Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Utilizing the manga version of the characters would leave no room for debate in favor of Jiren. But before we get into the video proper, remember to like the video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell knowing I upload. Finally, check out my Patreon to help support the channel and get some cool rewards. The Jiren vs Broly matchup sparks a lot of controversy among Dragon Ball fans, as personal biases often influence opinion, even my own. While I strive to provide an unbiased take on different matchups on my channel, acknowledging my own bias is critical to becoming a better power scale. Nevertheless, I make a conceited effort to make this video as unbiased as possible, examining the series and supplementary material to determine who is the true powerhouse between Broly and Jiren. And as I say before, for the purposes of this analysis, because I need to restate this, I will be using Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie and Jiren from the Dragon Ball Super anime. Let me repeat, I will be using Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie and Jiren from the Dragon Ball Super anime. I can't believe I have to state this multiple times, but people in the comments are going to try to use the manga. Now this decision stems from the limited information we have available on Broly in the Dragon Ball Super manga, given the absence of the manga adaptation for the movie. However, it is worth noting that based on current chapters, Broly should easily surpass Jiren in strength. So to maintain fairness, we'll just be comparing the anime versions of these characters. So without further ado, let's kick it off with scaling Jiren. Now, when it comes to examining Jiren's strength during determinant of power, it's crucial to dispel some common misconceptions. One prevalent notion suggests that even with a minuscule amount of power exerted from Jiren, he surpasses the god of destruction. The interpretation often stems from a guidebook stating, he lightly exerts power that surpasses a god destruction and overwhelms Goku. However, it is very important to clarify the statement implies Jiren's power, yes, surpass a god destruction, but he's only tapping into it a very slight amount. Now, some may try to misinterpret this, but it's also stated in the same guide that UI Goku sign also potentially surpasses Beerus in this same guidebook, which supports the idea when observing that Jiren and UI sign Goku both engage in a fairly equal conflict. Furthermore, there's numerous statements to reinforce this theory that Jiren surpasses God's destruction, and this is even before he pushes past his limits and unlocks his true power. The narrator even labels Jiren as Goku's mightiest rival to add weight to this argument, implying Jiren surpasses the previous foes like Goku Black, Fusamasu, and potentially Infinite Zamasu if you want to consider Goku's claim being able to beat Infinite Zamasu at full power. Notably as well, Jiren with just a gaze managed to hold back a blue Kaioken times 20 spirit bomb, underscoring his incredible strength for a mortal. Given all these points, it's very evident that Jiren stands among the pinnacle of mortals in the Dragon Ball verse at that time. But then the question arises, how does Broly from Universe 7 measure up to the Mighty Warrior Universe 11? Broly showcased extraordinary feats that stand as testaments to his unmatched power. In his base form, he effortlessly presses base Vegeta, prompting a successive transformation to Super Saiyan, then Super Saiyan God. The narrative coalesces in Broly unleashing Ikari, or Wrath Form, to dominate Vegeta to the extent that Goku needs to step in to the confrontation. This ensuing clash results in leaving Goku teetering on the precipice of consciousness, meaning he was almost knocked out by Broly. It is worth noting that there is a very small time frame between when this movie happened and when the Tournament of Power happened, meaning it is implied that there is very little advancement in strength for Goku and Vegeta, which adds to a surprising amount of Broly's marvel power. When we consider Broly scaling against the end of the Tournament of Power, Goku and Vegeta, it is very evident that he not only surpasses them, but he does so by a significant margin. This is consistent between guidebooks hailing him as the strongest Saiyan, firmly establishing his supremacy over the combined mind of Goku and Vegeta. Statements like Goku's strongest enemy from the Toei website and descriptors such as strongest enemy Goku and his friends will face underscore Broly's standing as an unparalleled adversary at this time, setting the stage for a potential paradigm shift in the Dragon Ball power scaling hierarchy. To quickly address some skepticism over Goku's claim of Broly possibly surpassing Beerus, multiple guidebooks leave little room for doubt, asserting that Broly is in fact stronger than a god destruction. As well, for those who want to say Goku only said probably, the technical nuances of the phrase means almost certainly or as far as one can tell. 
reinforcing that Goku's assessment is based on his own unique perspective. And he's not stupid, so Goku would probably know how strong Beerus is, roughly. Adding a layer to complexity of Broly's strength, there is a tantalizing prospect that had he been able to restrain himself and keep control over his power, he would have surpassed even Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta as stated by one of the guidebooks. This speculative notion raises interesting questions about the latent potential within Broly and the dynamic nature of his abilities. Now, some may argue that that's not impressive, that the Metamoran fusion is not very strong. However, the Metamoran fusion, from understanding, should be a much greater amplification than some people might think of the A plus B combination, as multiple guidebooks imply it has tremendous power for the merged individual, meaning it should be way stronger than each individual can do combined. In conclusion, Broly scaling the Dragon Ball universe positions him as an unparalleled force, introducing a fresh dynamic in the power scaling landscape. However, that being said, how would a fight between Broly and Jiren actually go? Well, this is how. So when it comes to the actual matchup, this fight is very clearly one-sided. The biggest problem here is natural power progression. There are many different statements for Broly being on the same level as Jiren, and some for him even being stronger. At the absolute lowest for Broly, he scales to the same level of power as Jiren, as he has many statements that put him above a god destruction, similarly to Jiren. After that, the biggest problem Jiren faces is that Broly can simply adapt and grow stronger as the fight progresses, which would result in him overpowering Jiren, which would let Broly win the fight. Now again, some might argue that Goku only said he was possibly stronger than Beerus, but the biggest problem with that is again, probably means almost certainly, or as far as one can tell or knows. So Goku at this point should know how strong Beerus is at bare minimum could gauge how strong Beerus was at T.O.P. Meaning he should more than likely be right. So saying Goku doesn't know what he's talking about is either straight up wrong or just an appeal to ignorance. But anyways, that is my video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Patreon. Until we meet again, good luck in your power scaling endeavors.